Hi guys, Micro here. This is my player own farms animals for XP guide. So in this guide, I'm going to be speaking about which animals you should buy for XP growing from baby to elder and then just selling to the farmers for beans in order to maximize your XP gains. I also speak about how long they take to grow, what you should feed them, etc. There will be timestamps in the description if you want to skip to a specific level to see what you should be growing, what you should be feeding them, and anything else that you might need to know about that animal. So you can just skip straight there in the description if you're already level 80 or something like that. So let's get right into this video. Quickly, just starting off, you want to do the tutorial at Granny Potterington at the Manor Farm. Then you'll be able to start with your small pen and start all of the player own farm experience. Then you can unlock more pens with beans in Granny's shop. And obviously you get beans from selling your animals to the buyers. Buyers come around every one day for small, two day for medium, three day for larges, and you just sell them all of the stuff that you grow. You'll get beans from doing this, and then you can just use those beans to buy your pens and everything that you need and obviously Manor Farm is located in Ardy so you just go to the Ardy Lodestone and Manor Farm straight there. I'm not going to be going into all of the details of what the farm has to offer. I won't be going into breeding etc in this video. This is literally just going to be a video for maximum XP if you're buying all your animals and what levels you should do what. Before we get into the levels I just want to explain why feeding your animals is very important. The reason why things like zygomites are so expensive now is because you have to feed your animals. If you don't feed your animals, they won't be happy and you will not get as much XP as if they were 100% happy. You get a portion of the XP depending on how happy or unhappy the animal is. Essentially, all you need to do is put food in the trough. As long as the animal has food in the trough, it will be happy. Then by the time it grows into an elder and you check the XP, it will be 100% happy, so you'll get 100% of your XP. This was the biggest update to Player Own Farms and a lot of people don't think Player Own Farms is worth it now that you have to feed your animals. But most animals are very, very cheap to feed and it's still 100% worth it. The animals only eat one piece of food per animal per hour. So if you have four animals in your medium pen, for example, there'll be four food consumed every hour. But there is a ton of animals that you can feed for like 50 GP per food. So you're spending 200 GP every hour, which really isn't much. Like I said, if you want a specific level, the timestamps are in the description. So let's get into what animals at what level. So now all the basic stuff is out of the way, I'm going to be speaking about the layout that I'll be using throughout this video. I'm going to say which pen the animal's from, the total time for egg or baby to elder growth, the total experience for that egg or baby to elder growth, and remember that I am saying the base amount of XP. Earns work with this, you can use bonus XP with this, and you can get more XP than this. Do make sure you do utilize earns at player own farms. What the cheapest food to feed them for their 100% happiness is to make sure that you're getting all of the XP from the animals and then how to obtain the animals. I'll speak about like the Iron Man way of obtaining the animals and then whether it's best to buy them on the GE or best to buy them in World 2 Manor Farm, etc. So with the layout said, let's go. Starting off, when you first unlock player own farms, the only thing you can do from level 17 to 28 is rabbits. These are in a small pen and the total time to go from baby to elder is one hour. The total XP from baby to elder is 500 XP. You want to feed them seeds and flowers so they can be 100% happy and give you all their XP. Typical seeds that you would want to buy are flytrap and sunchoke, they're super cheap. Or if you want to buy flowers, woad leaves are super cheap as well. And a very good Iron Man choice if you want to go get them yourself from the farmer in Falador. So how do you obtain these rabbits? If you're an Iron Man, you can just go kill the rabbits in Burfoot right near the Lodestone and you'll get a ton. If you're not an Iron Man, I just recommend you buying them from the Grand Exchange. Next up from levels 28 to 54 in the small pen, replacing rabbits, you want to do chickens. The total time for the egg to elder growth for chickens is 4 hours and 10 minutes. The total experience for egg to elder is 1250 XP. So what do you feed them to make them 100% happy? They take seeds. So again, flytrap and sunchoke seeds are super cheap. I'd recommend those. How do you obtain these chickens? If you're an Iron Man, you can buy them from Grandma for 25 beans in the middle of the manor farm. If you are a main account, I just recommend buying them off the GE. They're very, very cheap. 
From levels 35 to 64, now in the medium pen, you can do sheep. This is when you unlock the medium pen and this is the first thing you can put in there. The total time from baby to elder growth is two hours for sheep. And the total amount of XP they give you from baby to elder is 625 XP. You need to feed them flowers to get them to 100% happy so they give you all of their XP. Best flowers are woad leaves. You can buy them off the Grand Exchange, they're super cheap. Or you can buy them from the farmer in Falador. Again, super cheap. So how do you obtain the sheep? If you're an Iron Man, you can buy them from Granny in Manor Farm for 30 beans each. If you're not an Iron Man, just buy them from the GE. They're very, very cheap. Now from levels 49 to 71, you have unlocked a large pen so you can grow cows. The total time for a cow to go from baby to elder is six hours. And the experience you get from baby to elder is 2.5k. The best thing to feed cows again is flowers and you want to feed them the woad leaves as they're super, super cheap. Definitely feed them those. How do you obtain the cows? If you're an Iron Man, again, you can buy them from Granny in Manor Farm. These are 100 beans each. And if you're not an Iron Man, they are very cheap on the GE. Go to the GE and buy them and save your beans. Now from level 54 plus all the way to 99 or 120 or even 200 mil, you want to do chin chompers in your small pen replacing your chickens. Chin chompers are the best thing in a small pen all the way to 200 mil farming. The total time for a baby to elder chin chomper to grow is one day 18 hours. The total experience for baby to elder is 15k. That's a nice amount of XP and because they take longer to grow you have to check up on them less. So when it comes to what you want to feed them to keep them 100% happy to get all their XP, chin chompers literally eat anything but you want to feed them something that's cheap right you want to save as much money as possible so my advice would be fly trap or sun choke seeds as they're super cheap seeds very easy to do and again as we spoke about earlier woad leaves are super cheap buying them off the g buying them off the farmer in falador very cheap alternative as well one of these will be fine and it's like 20 gp a piece of food it's really really cheap very very good so to obtain these chin chompers if you're an iron man you're gonna have to hunt any skill chomper for a chance to catch these and it's pretty rare iron men have a little bit of a struggle getting them but then once they got them they can breed them etc if you're a main account i advise either buying them from players in world 2 mana farm and you can buy a bulk amount from people who breed them or you can just buy them off the ge and they're pretty cheap on the ge as well whatever you prefer at level 64 plus you can do spiders replacing the sheep in your medium pen you can stop doing these when you unlock Zygomites, or you can do this all the way to 99, 120, etc. as it's a cheaper method than Zygomites, and I'll go into that more later on in this video. The total time to go from Egg to Elder is 25 hours, so you can check these pretty much once a day. The total XP from Egg to Elder is 10k. You want to feed them seeds to get them 100% happy to make sure you get all of that 10k XP. Seeds like Flytrap and Sunchoke are super cheap, so get those ones. If you want to obtain these, you can obtain them by killing any species of spiders if you are an Iron Man and you can't buy them. If you're a main account, I'd recommend buying them in bulk either from World 2 Mana Farm and other players or the Grand Exchange. At levels 81 plus, you can do Zygomites in the medium pen, changing your spiders for these as the expensive option. The total time to go from a baby to elder zygomite is 3 days and 12 hours, so 3 and a half days. The total experience that you'll gain from baby to elder is 40k XP. The reason why these are expensive is because you have to feed them to get 100% happiness to make them give you 40k XP. They only eat mushrooms. The cheapest type of mushrooms you're looking at are probably tomb shrooms, mortmire fungus, and you can gather your own mushrooms from the Ark, but then you're using your chimes. So these are a pretty expensive alternative to spiders, and I'm going to go into a comparison in just a second, and you can make your own decision on this. But if you are interested on how to obtain zygomites, you can harvest Ark mushrooms, or you could do mushroom farm runs, and you get a chance of getting them from that. If you are looking to buy them in bulk, World 2 Mana Farm or the GE both work. World 2 Mana Farm will be a little bit cheaper though, but GE is instant. So now let's look at that comparison. 
So when it comes to spiders versus zygomites, you're looking at two different things. You're looking at the cost to feed them and the experience per day of the animal. The cost to feed each zygomite every day is 72 to 96k if you're buying your mushrooms for between 3 to 4k, which sounds about right. They're normally around the middle of that. They're about 3.5k each. The cost per day to feed each spider is literally 500 GP if you just feed it the cheapest seeds or woad leaves. So feeding the zygomites versus feeding the spiders is insanely expensive. If you're looking at the experience per day between the zygomites and the spiders, there isn't actually that much difference. You get 11,428 XP per day with a zygomite. That relies on you replacing your zygomites with new ones every three and a half days when they turn from baby to elder. The experience per day for spiders is 9,600 XP each. That isn't too much less. That's 1,800 experience less. But it does require you to replace your spiders every 25 hours. So every day you want to go back and replace them, whereas zygomites, you could be lazy and wait a bit longer. That does also mean that you have to buy more spiders, but the price is about the same to buy zygomites and spiders as spiders are cheaper. If you buy them in bulk, it doesn't really matter either way. My personal opinion is that zygomites are too expensive and I would much rather just do spiders. Spiders are a little bit less XP, but a lot better on the coin pouch. But if you do want to be a bit more lazy, spend more GP and, you know, go back less and just let your zygomites grow instead of going back every day, you go back twice a week, then yeah, zygomites are good. You can make your own decision on this. Personally, I'd say spiders over zygomites, but everyone has their own opinion. So now when it comes to the large pens, you want to do yaks from level 71 to 92. These will replace your cows. The total time for a baby to elder yak is 2 days and 19 hours. The total XP from baby to elder is 32,500 and that's a decent amount. Yaks are actually pretty damn good, especially when you can start doing them at 71. So what do you need to feed them to keep them 100% happy and get all your XP? Just feed them flowers. As always, woad leaves are super cheap. Best flowers to feed them. To obtain the yaks, you can kill the yaks on net it's not, or make pack yak pouches, and you can get yaks either of those ways if you're an Iron Man. If you're not an Iron Man, I highly advise buying them from players in World 2 Mana Farm or from the GE, as they're actually pretty damn cheap and very, very good GP per XP. And finally, at level 92 plus, you want to do dragons in your large pens, replacing yaks, and you also want to put your dragons in your breeding pen, so you can have 10 dragons grown at once, 3 in each large pen, and 4 in the breeding pen. The total time for egg to elder growth is 7 days, so every week come check these and get 100k XP from egg to elder. That means you're getting 1 mil XP every single week just from base XP doing dragons. That doesn't include urns, if you have any bonus XP, etc. That is literally base XP. So this can go easily up to like 1.5 mil XP a week just from dragons. Remember, to get the 100k XP, you need to feed them so they're 100% happy and they eat raw meat and fish. So the type of things you want to feed it is raw tuna, swordfish, chicken, bird meat. They're all around the same price. So they fluctuate quite a lot and they're about like 500 to 800 GP. Sometimes a bit cheaper, sometimes a bit more expensive, but definitely a good way to feed them. If you want to know how to obtain the dragons, you can get egg drops from QBD, which is a 1 in 200 chance. And normal dragons have a 1 in 2000 chance to drop an egg. I would only advise doing this if you're an Iron Man though because buying them from players in World 2 Mana Farm or the GE like always is pretty cheap and definitely worth it as a main account. When it comes to my setup of player owned farms this is what I would advise. Obviously you can do zygomites instead of spiders if you wanted to. I'd put dragons in both of my large pens and the breeding pen so that you grow up 10 dragons a week for a million base XP and you have to take them out and replace them once a week as well. I would do spiders in both medium pens, making you do 56 spiders a week and replacing them every day. And I would put chin chompers in both of the small pens, making it 48 chins per week, which would cause you to check up and replace them four times a week. This would take the total base XP a week to 2,280,000 experience as long as you are in a good routine on checking up on your animals. You may only get 2 million base experience a week or something if you're slacking a little bit here and there and you miss some of the cycles. 
Don't forget that this is base XP. Earns with Earn Enhancer is another 25% on top of that. And then you can have bonus XP, stuff like that as well. So you can get tons of XP doing this method. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. I'm going to get a Ranch Out of Time video out, a breeding video, and a video on what to buy with beans for optimal XP as well in the future. So watch out for those videos in the coming weeks. And as always, until next time, see ya.